me Iman welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my second episode of my BTS with Iman series so this is my back to school series name and a lot of you guys did give me feedback in my last video to what to name my back to school series so this is what I'm doing so in this video I'm showing you guys how to make a couple of DIYs and a little bit more accessories to just add to your locker to make it look festive and I know a lot of you guys don't go to your locker because you guys only have like a couple of minutes to go to each class but since you are going to be adding these stuff into your locker. You are going to be going to your locker more. That's just my opinion. But this video was such a struggle to film. I mean, a, such a struggle. Because last week my camera got messed up. And also, I didn't know what time to like film this. Because during lunch, I only have like 30 minutes to film. Which thir in 30 minutes, you have like nothing to film. I mean, I mean, 30 minutes, you can do something. But I mean, it's it can't be finished. So I had to film after school. And for my school, you have only like certain days to stay after, so I had to wait then. But I mean, I got this video up for you guys, which is a plus. So just give this video a thumbs up because I know I worked super hard in it. And I know by giving a thumbs up, it would help me a lot. And also, tell me in the comments down below if you guys do want to see Vlogtober because I really want to do Vlogtober. But I really don't know if you guys want to see it. So tell me guys in the comments down below. So now let's just get started with this video. So first let's start off with the DIY chalkboard and you are going to be needing a chalkboard which I got mine from Michaels and I'm just going to be getting some Mod Podge and just coating it among the wooden frame. A quick tip is to use any sort of tape which I didn't use on the blackboard because I was getting messy and it wasn't looking pretty. Whoa, that rhymed. <laughs> but anyways, um... You can see right here, I was cleaning it up and it was getting messy, so yeah, quick tip right there. Then I'm just going to be getting some golden glitter and just putting it among the glue. Now setting this to the side for letting it dry. Um, so I had to wait a couple of hours to let it dry and then I... I added another coat of Mod Podge to just seal in everything and to give it a beautiful shine. And you're done with this DIY. You just need to let it dry and you're done. So now let's move on to the banner. So I just got a piece of paper of cardstock paper and then just getting a ruler and making a 3x2 um, rectangle and making two little indents on the bottom because this is the template. And I'm just going to be cutting that out and then just getting a scrapbooking paper which I'm just using this design and just making four of the same exact things that we just made with the template. Since I do have four letters in my name so I will need four pieces of these depending on how many letters you have in your name depends on how many sheets you would need. So they should look something like this when they're all done. Then I'm just going to be taking some um, letter stickers and just spelling out my name because my name does have four letters and it does spell out E-M-A-N. And a lot of you guys think I do have five letters in my name. No, I just have four. So that was it for that DIY. So now let's move on to the bulletin board one. So I'm just going to be taking these bottle cap corks and some spray paint and just spray painting them silver because I didn't really like the finish of the dullness of these corks so you can spray paint them any color and now let's move on to the inside part of this so i just got a shoebox lid and just taking a sheet of scrapbooking paper and just measuring the inside of the shoebox lid so the paper fits inside the lid so that's what i'm just doing just cutting out the paper so it fits inside the lid So now I'm just going to be taking some hot glue and just hot gluing the surface of the shoebox lid and then just taking my paper that I just cut out and just put that in there so it just stays secured. So it should look something like this. So now I'm just going to be getting some more hot glue and just taking the quirks that we spray printed earlier and just putting those onto the board. A quick tip for this DIY is for is to lay all of your quirks down first because all of these quirks were different sizes. So I would highly suggest you to just put them on first so you get an idea of what they look like. 
So it should look something like this when the corks are all done. So now I'm just going to be getting a zebra colored duct tape roll and just cutting out 8 inches and then cutting out a third of an inch horizontally. And just taking that little piece and just putting it onto the duct tape roll and I just painted this empty duct tape roll blue and then just added the zebra strip onto the top of the roll. For the bottom part, I wanted it to get covered so that so that I can add stuff in it and nothing will fall out. So I just got this shoebox lid and just traced the roll and just cutting it out with an exacto knife. Then I'm just getting a pair of scissors to just like even everything out. And then I'm just going to be getting some hot glue and just hot gluing the bottom part and then just adding the cardboard onto the bottom part. So it should look something like this. And then just getting the roll again and just making an M for McDonald's. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but wherever the two zebra strips end, I just added the hot glue there so that the two zebra strips hide so you're done with that DIY so now let's move on to the accessories with this um, locker so I just added some wallpaper magnets that I got from Target so I had to trim them to, in order to make them fit so that's what I did so I just added them to the door of the locker not the inside So far it's looking really nice with the wallpaper on. Then I just took this box to make like a locker bookshelf, like a locker shelf I mean. And then I just took a pencil cup holder to just like add my pencils, markers, stuff like that in there. And then just took the sticky note pad onto the wall to just like jot down notes. And then I took this mirror that also lights up which is a plus. Um, so you can like touch up your makeup or fix your hair and then I just took my chalkboard mark board and just added that and then took my banner that we made earlier also and just hung that up with some twine and some clips last but not least I got my DIY bulletin board and the cup the duct tape part came off so I just put it on like that and you can add your like bobby pins, paper clips, push pins, magnets, stuff like that in there, like miniature stuff. Overall it's looking really nice and I'm really liking it. So then I just put my mirror onto the right side so I don't know why because I don't know I don't, I don't like it on my left side. So then I just took some chalkboard markers and just added them into the pencil holder. And I had to write my to-do list, so my to-do list was to film this video because I had to film it. Um, and then I just took my little magnets that I made. If you guys do want to know how to make them, the link will be down in the down bar. And these magnets looked super cute in this locker. I don't know what it was. It just pulled it all together. If you want you can add these chalkboard stickers onto your locker somewhere but I didn't do that but I did add some Polaroid pictures so I just added this picture of me and my friend Amna um, which she was helping me film this video so thank you um, so then I just added this essentials box so I just added a lotion you can put your phone in there you can put some juices in there which currently this naked juice is absolutely my favorite and looking at it just makes me thirsty and want it so overall this is what the finished result looks like and yeah so you're done with blinging out your locker